writers, decimal tens, hundreds or thousands. I'm Anil Kumar and now let us practice writing the numbers given to us in words as decimal numbers. To help us write, we'll make a place value chart. So let's say that line indicates decimal point. On the right side, we have tenths and then we have hundreds and then we have thousands, right? So on this place value chart, we'll call this as a decimal and here we have tenths and then we have one hundreds and thousands. On the left side, what should we have? Ones, tens and hundreds, correct? Okay, so let's write down one tens and hundred and draw our lines. Ones, tens, hundreds, right? It can go on and on, thousands and so on. Okay, so the first number is 62 thousands. 62, the number 62 should end here. So we can write this as 62 here and 0 decimal. It's always good to write 0 before decimal. Another technique which we learned is whenever you have a doubt, you can use fractions. 62 thousands really means 62 divided by 1000. Now when you divide by 1000, you have to move the decimal point 3 units left. So at present it is at the end of 62. You can move it 1, 2, 3. What do you get? 0 0.062. 0 0.062. It works. So that is how you can check and do. I hope with this you can pause the video, answer the rest of the questions and then check your answer. Let's move on quickly. 7 and 5 thousands. Whenever we have and it signifies a decimal point. 7 comes before decimals. So 7 and 5 thousands. 5 is in thousands place. So we have a number 7.005. 200 and 3 hundreds. So 200 comes before decimal. So we have 200 here, right? 200 and 3 hundreds. In hundreds position, we have number 3. So it is like this. 87 tenths. Now 87 in tenths place. It is kind of like this. 87 tenths. So if you divide 87 by 10, you get 8.7. It's kind of tricky, okay? Let me put a star here. So you go through this question once again. 87 tenths really means that 87 should end at tenths place. So if 7 has to come here, 8 will be there with the decimal point. This is another way of looking into it, correct? You'll always get it right. 10 and 20 tenths. So 10 and, that means 10 is a whole number, and so you can add 20 tenths. That means 20 divided by 10. Now 20 divided by 10 actually is 2. So the number is 12. This is very tricky. So what we do here is 10 and 20 tenths is kind of combination, right? So let me write 10 before decimal, so that is decimal, so we have 10 here, and then we have 20 tenths, that means 2, 0. Do you see 20 tenths? So when you add this up, what do you get? You get 10 and 20 tenths, which is 12.0. So that is 10 and 20 tenths, which could be seen like this. Okay, so I'll put another star here. So these are kind of difficult questions which you may have to go again. Okay, so go through them once again. 603 hundreds, 603 hundreds. Okay, that really means 603 over 100. So when you do that, the decimal comes here. So it is 6.03. That is one way of looking into it. The other way is 603 hundreds. So the number has to end at hundreds place. You get 603. Of course, decimal will come there, right? 11 and 11 thousands. So before decimal, we have 11 
and then 11 ends at thousands place so that is 11 so we have a zero here okay that is 11 and 11 thousands 222 tens 222 that means 222 two, two, divide by 10 so it is 22.2 it makes sense 222 should end at tenths place that is the tenths place so it is 22.2 so I think with few tricky questions it is kind of interesting that writing numbers with decimal tens hundreds and thousands can be tricky at times go through this video try to understand how we did couple of these and then you're ready for your test thank you and all the best